Thank you for staying with us. Let's now take a look at some of the stories making headlines in the world of business. And shareholders of equity saw their market wealth plunge by 13 billion shillings during Monday's trade as the bank's share price fell by 8.4% to close the trade at 37 shillings and 55 cents. The shakeout of the market was triggered by the bank's full year 2020 results, which revealed not only a double digit deep in earnings, but also the second consecutive year of no dividend payout to share holders. Alex Mwangi digs into the numbers. Equity group holdings will, for the second year running, not pay dividends, seeking instead to reinvest the profit and grow the size of the business. The group last year saw customer deposits spike to 740.8 billion shillings, from 482.8 billion shillings in 2019. Total assets crossed the 1 trillion shilling mark, buoyed by the acquisition of BCDC Bank in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Net profit, however, took a hit, dipping 11% to 19.8 billion shillings attributed to the effects of the pandemic. We have seen the bank increase its market share by uh, 2%, and that 2% uh, increase in market share, uh, which has translated into about a trillion liquid assets. Once deployed this year, we we'll see the bank bounce back to pre-COVID years in terms of performance. Equity Group completed the purchase of BCDC Bank in the Democratic Republic of Congo last year and merged it with Equity Bank Congo to form Equity BCDC the second largest bank in DRC. The bank managed to offer pandemic support to its clients without overstretching itself. While well, we had deep pockets to support 45%, only 32% of uh, uh, our loan book holders required accommodation. And we are glad that by the end of the year, uh, out of the one 71 billion shillings that we accommodated, 40 billion had normalized and were paying back their loans as usual. NCBA Bank reported its full year earnings, this being the first time its earnings for 12 months reflect those of the merged entities NIC Bank and Commercial Bank of Africa. Last year, NCBA's customer deposits grew to 421.5 billion shillings from 378.2 billion shillings. The bank's total assets during the period grew by 6.7 percent to 528 billion shillings from 494.8 billion shillings in 2019. Net profit dipped by 42 percent to 4.6 billion shillings from 7.8 billion shillings. This came on the back of a very strong operating profit, where the group uh, delivered an operating profit that was up 38 percent year over year, and Profit before provisions was up 20, uh, sorry, 37 percent year over year. 2020 saw COVID-19 affect the global economy, with banks also having had to adjust to the new normal, particularly in the provision of loans. We structured 78 billion worth of customer loans. Our non-performing loans was up 19 percent to come at 40.1 billion shillings leading us to making the provisions I mentioned of 20 billion shillings. The board of NCBA is recommending a dividend of one shilling and 50 cents per share to be paid on or around the annual general meeting scheduled to be held in June. Alex Mwangi, NTV. Well, the government is returning to the domestic debt market to raise 60 billion shillings to finance infrastructure projects. The National Treasury is floating an 18-year amortized infrastructure bond whose period of sale lapses on the 6th of April. Proceeds from the bond will be deployed in financing projects in the remaining part of the financial year 2020-2021. As at the close of February 2021, the government has mopped up 598 billion shillings in domestic debt, realizing 76% of the target amount. Meanwhile, 12 counties in Kenya are set to receive a market upgrade and a project by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization,
which is set to help boost the agriculture sector and job creation. Well, the project, titled the Market Access Upgrade Program, was launched in Makwene County, which is among the 12 counties. Makwene, which is Kenya's top mango producer, is set to enhance quality and readiness for the reopening of the European Union market through the project. The sector is valued at approximately 3 billion Kenya shillings. The 3.7 million shillings markup program is expected to increase market access and create more sustainable jobs. Communities, we increase uh, revenues that the country gets when uh, we export our products outside the country. And generally, we create jobs both from the farmer group levels, exporters, and also at the national level. It seeks uh, to ensure that uh, farmers at the grassroots uh, uh, get a just reward uh, from their uh, work because they'll be helped to work on the quality of what is produced so that it can access uh, domestic and uh, international uh, markets. Now, companies need to be cognizant of the changes taking place in trade circles owing to the COVID-19 pandemic and adjust accordingly when it comes to financial reporting. That was one of the key messages at this year's Financial Reporting Awards. The theme for the annual awards this year is financial reporting in uncertain times, given the tough environment that many businesses find themselves in. The 19th edition of the FIRE Awards saw a host of winners featured for adhering to financial reporting principles. Former Chief Justice David Maraga, who was the chief guest at the colorful event, stressed on the need for businesses to have integrity. The Fire Awards is now a regional event with the Tanzanian firm having scooped the top prize in the annual award two years ago. We are seeing in the capital markets, for instance, the demand by investors today that companies em embrace um, integrated reporting and, and really ESG reporting so that they're able to understand more and they're more interested in seeing how the governance standards are being addressed or being achieved. So we believe this is going to go a long way towards addressing that. In fact, as we talk about making Nairobi an international financial center, these are some of those things that we need to promote because investors all over the world are looking for credible information. And therefore, if we think about attracting investors, these are some of the initiatives we want to promote.